I kind of see three camps within the United States Conference of Bishops. You have what I might call your Pope Benedict conservatives. You've already named a lot of them. Right. All right. So we're talking about Corleone. We're talking about Gomez. We're talking about Dolan, Cardinal Dolan. The way they understand the church and the way they understand politics and the way they understand liturgy and all that is very much Pope Benedict 16th era. Then you have your, I would call, Friends of Francis. Uh, these were people who in the old days were aligned with uh, Bernadine, right. McCarrick, always kind of goading and kind of going against John Paul II a little bit. What we've seen since Pope Francis is, is those two camps, and we've seen the elevation of that old McCarrick guard, but it has to be rebranded because of what happened to McCarrick. And then in the middle, you have, I think, maybe 60% of the USCCB are kind of like what you said. Look your finger. But the people who have always been strident pro-Pope Francis, they have been promoted. And let's be honest, Barron is very pro-Francis. We know people, someone like Supich, Tobin, McElroy, those guys are true believers All the way. of Francis. 100% have the exact same agenda. And, and so we know them. And then I, I personally don't think Barron is of that camp. I think he would like to be friendly with them because he knows that's the way forward for more influence in the church. But I don't think he personally is that invested personally into that agenda. I was looking at the cardinal appointments. And what's interesting is Pope John Paul II, who made some completely awful cardinal appointments, he was very much strictly stuck by the, you, you take the cardinal at seas and you make them cardinals. I shouldn't have made those people bishops of those seas. So Chicago, right. Boston, Detroit, and Benedict basically did that, although he added Houston, which actually that was a good sign of, okay, the Southwest United States is becoming more Catholic. So I got that one. All the bishops who are bishops of those cardinal at seas, traditionally cardinal at seas, who were appointed by Benedict have not been made cardinals. He's purposely avoid them. And now he's even going and not even waiting to move McElroy to an actual cardinal at sea. He's just like, okay, we're going to make you. I mean, for all we know, maybe he'll make Baron cardinal while he's still in Minnesota. So cardinal in, under Francis is becoming who out there agrees with me perfectly. Okay, you're a yes. cardinal. 